Well, good morning. It's 6.37 <clears throat> on Saturday, the 25th of February, and it's negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> Got the uh, orange hunting jacket on this morning with the down vest, with the fleece, with the pullover cap and the fleece hood up. <clears throat> I was up earlier and put some wood in the fire. She still hasn't really caught on, but she's smoking. <clears throat> Today is the day. Snowmobile rides on locks. <clears throat> Ten miles from here to the Snowmobile Club, where I'll meet up with Mike Corbin and his wife Robin, <clears throat> Ralph Clark, and Kathy. So they're going to try and meet us there. I'm not sure. <clears throat> they have two two sleds. I don't know whether Robin's riding on the back of Mike's sled. He's got a two up. Two up means two riders. <clears throat> but 10 miles from here to the club and then 20 miles from the club to the locks. So I'm planning on leaving here around oh, <clears throat> 9.25. Goes to 10 miles. <clears throat> Should take me 20, 25 minutes. So I'd like to leave myself some leeway. I don't want people waiting for me. <clears throat> and I think the snowmobile club's going to be open, so... I need to warm up and go inside. Sunrise, I think, was at 6.20. I didn't check this morning. You can see the tracks in the snow. I had the sled out yesterday. I gassed her up. I uh, thought I was just going to top the tank off, but it took five gallons. I was really surprised because I brought a two-gallon can out to top her off. And that didn't put a dent in it. Filled up another two gallon can. I still didn't fill it. Yeah, Flynn's already starting the limp. Come on, buddy, let's go. <clears throat> then uh, finally topped her off. And cold bud. So once I topped it off, I wanted to make sure I could uh, make it to the trail because Travis plowed. You can see the big mounds here. <clears throat> so I had no problem getting to the mound. Of course, Flynn's got to put a marking down so I know where to turn. You can see I ran down the side. Trying to push some snow off the plowings to have something to ride on. Oh, but <clears throat> What's that in the room? There's a stir or something. <clears throat> well, thankfully there's not too much wind, but I'll create my own wind with the uh, snow machine, snowmobile, snow sled, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I have my motorcycle helmet, full faced motorcycle helmet. <clears throat> I have most of the vents closed, one of the vents is broken. <clears throat> the problem with the uh, 
motorcycle helmet as you're, uh, you're breathing so hard. You fog up the lens. You have to open up the lens. And if you wear glasses like I do, your glasses probably fogged up and then having a negative 10 degree temperature, it's going to freeze those glasses. You'll have ice on them. So I'll probably take the glasses off, put them in the inside the shirt pocket. <clears throat> I can see fine without the glasses for driving the snow sled. <clears throat> I was hoping that Travis wouldn't take it down this far. Because the snow we got was super light and fluffy. <clears throat> uh, even if he hadn't plowed, the sled would be cutting right through the six inches or so of snow we got. Gloves are charged up. I've got two cameras. With uh, each of them has a spare battery. They're both all full batteries are charged up. Yes, I got a battery pack for the phone. Phone is all charged up. The battery pack's all charged up. <coughs> the uh, <coughs> the radio on the helmet is all charged up. So. Oh, we had a critter go through here. What was that? Oh, coyote. You can see Flynn's foot right there. And the coyote right there. No! Go on, get out of there. Flynn's got his Hunter Biden makeup on. Flynn. Then, good boy. Hunter Biden the pressure. <clears throat> Where'd the uh, coyote go? Hmm, I guess he just walked up the road and I don't see any tracks over here. Come on, let's go. A negative 10 is not too bad. That's just walking though. <clears throat> I did pull out a uh, long sleeve shirt I'll wear underneath the flannel. <clears throat> Sweatshirt. And uh, do have long johns. Put them on. And then a uh, Coverall, full weight coverall. I'll bring extra gloves. <clears throat> oh, another critter. What do we have here? Another coyote. Yeah, it looks like it. Too close to be deer. I can't tell. I can't see tracks here. Uh, so, uh, Kevin, 
You know, Brian took the groomer out yesterday, groomed from the clubhouse up to North Road on the 105, turned around, groomed, I think it's Trail 12, that hooked up with Matt Wompkeg, <clears throat> and then uh, had dinner, and then groomed down to the locks, so the guy was <laughs> incredible yesterday. I don't know what time we get back after, after going down to the locks. The locks is a, like I said, it's a 20 mile down, 20 mile back. And the uh, tractor, tractor has 18 speed transmission. <clears throat> and if you can get on the top gear, because normally you're navigating by trees and whatever. Oh, let's take care of business. If he's able to go full out in top gear, he's only going 7 miles an hour. So, 20 miles or 7 miles an hour would take you uh, almost 3 hours. So that's 6 hours at top speed. <coughs> the, uh, the club uses something called uh, OnSpot. And there's a website called Find Me Spot. If you go to quadcounty.org, the website, there's a link on the left side, uh, trail conditions. Then you go to the trail conditions page, and uh, <coughs> oh, he's after that coyote. On the trail conditions page is a, uh, a link to uh, find me spot, where it says uh, where, see where the groom has been. You can actually see what trails he's groomed, how long he was out there. <sighs> the uh, on-spot radios transmit locations and it also has an emergency feature that if you break down we'll have a medical incident as a, a 911 button because uh, cellular coverage up here you're not going to get cell coverage but these uh, on-spot devices can uh, call in the uh, Forestry Service or uh, EMS. <clears throat> right, bud? Right? Uh, mustache is freezing up. I'll get back to the house, I'm going to trim the mustache because she's too long. Pulled the blueberry and an apple muffin out of the freezer. I thought we were out of apple muffins, but uh, there was one there. So Rita likes the apple more than the blueberry. <clears throat> she likes the blueberry too. taking videos on the way down, on the way back, while we're there, and then when I get back, I will uh, take some screenshots of uh, certain things, points of interest, whatever, and it's only, I can smell my wood stove, <coughs> and uh, post them on the Facebook page. And then I'll upload videos after I edit them to YouTube. <coughs> 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 
you know, I'm not going to get him out with a, a deep stall like that. I should have rode the uh, John Deere up here and flattened that out. I'll tell you though. <coughs> you can see how the ski just cut right down. I think it weighs 700 pounds. I'd like to have a, uh, a lighter sled or one up because we doesn't ride it anymore. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, Lindsay, what do you got about a cold foot? <clears throat> okay, let's go in the house. Run in the house, will you? So I'll uh, charge up the gloves too. I know it's only 20 minutes, but I've got uh, two hours before. And I'll bring extra gloves. I'll put the heated gloves on first because the uh, hand grips don't warm up for uh, a couple minutes. Then I'll change out to other gloves. Keep the uh, heated gloves in case I need them. It's a beautiful morning, though. You can see the uh, wood stove is burning a little bit better. there <clears throat> we got uh, two or three snow days coming this week I think Tuesday Wednesday Friday I don't know how much yet but I'm probably gonna have to get the tractor out and blow blow the snow out <clears throat> haven't used the tractor in weeks All right, but in the house, go. <clears throat> when I woke up this morning, it was 70 degrees down, 70 degrees downstairs in the basement, so the uh, stove <clears throat> kept it nice and warm. I was going to put more wood in last night when I went to bed, but she was uh, loaded up and she was burning, burning really hot. I didn't want to open it, so I just cut the air down. to take his uh, coat off. Uh, well, I shut down the uh, video here. Thanks for watching. Check back later.